Hello, welcome back to another of my weekly newsletters here in the studio at St. Anne's Old Links. I'm not sure if you saw the golf over the weekend. I was certainly watching it last night. The golf from Torrey Pines. Yes, we were excited because Tiger was playing again. Not so excited that he didn't really stay around for the weekend. He probably had other things to be doing anyway. Um, Tiger, Jason Day, Dustin Johnson, great three ball, the new tailor-made three ball. Big announcement was made last week. I know we broke the news first a few months ago, but big announcement, Ty Tiger Woods now playing tailor-made product. We know that. Is he gonna be investing in the company though? That's something that we're also thinking he might be. But yes, Tiger and Jason, all the hype didn't make the cut. However, I think the new Tiger Woods possibly John Rahm, the Spanish protege, by the way, he's Spanish, he can play for us in the Ryder Cup. He managed to finish Birdie Eagle, I think it was. He held about a 60 or 70 foot putt. His putt broke into the hole, everybody else's putt did and they broke out. So he managed to win by a shot off the top of my head. Fantastic for the European Ryder Cup team, like I've said. Again, once again, there's this same name is happening every time, Taylor Made. He was using the Taylor Made M1 driver off the tee. Proto Irons and also the new TaylorMade TP5 ball. And I've actually got a couple here. These, these aren't out yet. These have been launched in the beginning of March um, and we've been sent a couple just to do some reviews with. I'm sure Ali will be doing a YouTube video about them soon, so look out for that. I'm certainly going to. I've got my YouTube game and I'm trying to put a few together. I've actually broken the 150 subscriber mark, so if you are watching this, please subscribe at the end of this video to my YouTube channel. Whilst I'm on the subject, if you do subscribe, I'm going to give away talking balls. I'm going to give away some a dozen of the brand new Pro V balls. This has only just been launched as well. So if you do subscribe, when I hit 200 subscribers, there's a dozen balls for one of my subscribers. You've got to be in it to win it. Okay, so more about the ball. This is the new TaylorMade ball. This was, I think it was the reason uh, Ram won at the weekend. I'm going to hit it with the TaylorMade arm. We know this is a potential 200 yard seven iron. Not for me, but some of the big hitters have been doing that. My seven iron is a hundred and uh, 150 yard carry, 160 total. I've found when I've hit this, I've gained about 20 yards. So yeah, this is a long iron for me. Um, let's see if I can get it out there. Now combining it with the tailor-made ball, this should be a match made in heaven, really. That felt good. That was my first swing of the day. Not too bad as well, good strike. Oh yes, there you go, there's that. 169 yards carry. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to feel with this ball yet until I do some extensive testing. However, what I can tell you is five piece construction. Most golf balls are three or four pieces. They used to be two pieces in the rate. If you can remember the old pieces of chewing gum, the commando, that was one piece. So this is five piece constru construction. Essentially what that's going to do in layman terms is give you the best all round ball flight. Low spin with your driver, more spin with your wedges. Like I've said, I'll do some testing certainly in the next few weeks with it and, and obviously report back on that. However, if I could just explain, getting back to John Rahm again, he has been a tightness ball player. He signed with TaylorMade and said, what stipulation? I'm gonna use Pro-V, that's it. And all the way through the t t signing and, t and testing, he's carried on, he liked the tight TaylorMade ball, but he stuck with Pro-V. He put the TaylorMade ball into play this weekend and won with it. First time to play and he's won with it. A big change, a young lad that's been playing Pro-V all his life, has made that change. Sure enough, he's run with it. So maybe if I make that change and put it into my bag, I'll give it one more hit. That felt good again. Maybe if I put this ball in my bag, <laughs> there's also a chance I might win something with it. Maybe the Alliance or and then I'll come with the team. Okay, yeah, quite like that ball. Um, interesting, interesting feel. Good distances again, I'll look at those numbers a bit later, but yeah, quite happy with it. There is a TP5 and a TP5X, so a low spinning version as well for the powerful hitters or people that want a different ball flight. Back here to the members competition at the weekend, it was a Daily Mail foursomes. It's a fast game, it's a tough game, you're relying on your partner, some solid partnerships won, a great partnership of Maddock and Stone. Uh, John and Adam been having a lot of coaching with Gary Potter over the weekend. He's been working his magic with them um, and they've managed a score of 62. Closely followed by Johnny Moss and uh, Graham Warren. Uh, again, another formidable partnership and, and Johnny deserves a mention here because I forgot to mention him two weeks ago when he won. So well done, Johnny. Good work. You maybe need to do a bit more time in the shop though, to be fair, if you're winning competitions. Also, twos. 
With it being a tough game over the weekend, two's paid out £38 per two. So everyone that's got a two, it's been paid onto your accounts, don't worry. We've been hearing also about some great feedback upstairs with the caterers. They had a Sunday dinner on Sunday, the first time I've seen it in my time. Over 80 people sat and ate Sunday dinner here in the clubhouse. A great event, really well supported, and apparently the food was fantastic. I might see if I've got any leftovers upstairs and grab some for my lunch today. So as I mentioned, I am trying to develop my YouTube channel um, and get a few more people to get involved with it, and there is a prize up for grabs for that. One thing you might have seen, I've done a couple of reviews lately. I've tried the new Callaway driver versus the new TaylorMade M1. Again, you can have a look on my channel and watch that video if you wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a comment or two as well. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but one of them stood out for me as well, which I'm looking forward to putting into play this year. We had our TaylorMade and Callaway launch events over the last few weeks, and we uh, I see a little, into a little number here. We custom fitted over 26 golfers in the last week and a half, ready for the new TaylorMade and Callaway product launches. Every one of those golfers now has been in, enjoyed the handover session. Myself, Alistair, and Mike down at the academy. Uh, Gary's done a couple of handovers here as well. And during that handover session, we've made sure. The product is right for each customer. We've tuned it uh, with Tom Ryder at the weekend. I managed to make sure his driver was giving him the exact right flight, his fairy wood and his hybrid all gave him the perfect distance and the loft combination. So again, that service we add uh, free of charges when you uh, custom fit with us as part of our process. I've also spent a little bit of time trying on some new shoes. There's a new Luna Command 2 shoe from Nike. Again, we've got a few members in this weekend and I will add the link to that video uh, on this newsletter. Uh, you, this was first impressions, it wasn't staged, members came in, put the shoe on and great response, great feedback and I asked about the product, uh, what a member might want to pay for that product. Uh, I've actually got the shoe here to be fair. This is the new Luna Command 2 shoe, really comfortable. It's got the Luna, <laughs> Luna Lon <laughs> technology in the sole and I've actually learned today, I've had some product training, it is, um, <laughs> the reason it's called Luna is because it's supposed to give you the feel of walking on the moon. So, you know, when you're kind of bounding around, I feel a bit stupid doing that. But yeah, I've got to say, it is very comfortable. Again, ask members what they thought the price would be, quoted around 120, 130, 120, 130 pounds. It's actually a 90 pound pair of shoes. Really good, good competitor. And I think that might be a winner this year. Come in and give it a try. Uh, Ali's done another video, the link will be below. This week he's done a, a great video about how to hit three wood, worth watching. And he's going to send some information in as well. And I'm sure we'll have a video from Mike again. These will all be linked at the bottom of this news. I'm going to finish there, I'm going to hit one more ball with this, uh, one more with the Taylor May. This is the lower spinning version, so it might go a little bit further. Good. God, that feels good. Have a great week. We'll see you all over the weekend, I'm sure. Thanks again for watching. Like I said, link, uh, click like and subscribe. I'm getting, I'm new to this. Oh, that was a long one again. 181 yards, 7 iron for me. Thank you again. See you soon.